hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's me mystic beauty i'm here with another general energy reading this is actually going to be a night owl reading you guys <laughs> sorry i'm not showing my face tonight i'm just you know chilling <laughs> okay just trying to like wind down and stuff but i also wanted to get some messages out to you guys as well okay so you guys there's a energy um who is external to you who feel as though that they made you feel inadequate all right this person could have chose somebody else over you um they definitely had a choice between you and somebody else you know this person regrets the pain that they've they've caused you like they regret making you cry they regret treating somebody else better than they treated you when i'm honestly getting like a sincere genuine love that you you show this person i'm getting that they nobody ever loved this person the way that you love this person even even the the energy that they chose over you could never love them the way that you the way that you love them okay this person feel like you didn't deserve this all right they feel like you never deserve to be made a made a option like you were you were like i heard you were a good girl because you could be like a, if you're female this person say you were a good girl all right or you were a good guy like you did not deserve this yeah this person chose this other energy because of it was something physical like i don't i'm not even saying like the the other person looked better than you because i'm not even thinking that that's what it is because to be real with you I don't even think it was like physical appearance. It's more like they gained something physical, something about their physical needs. So it could have been like sexual or something like that. Maybe, maybe this, this karmic was willing to do things that they didn't feel like you would be willing to do. Maybe your person is into some real kinky, nasty, freaky sex and you know, borderline, like, it's like literally walking a thin line uh, with demonic sex, like, you know, low vibrational sex, things that you would literally have to throw all of your morals out the window, like, literally, you know, um, you being a higher vibration, vibrational being, like, you know, you may be freaky, but you still like wouldn't do anything that's borderline demonic all right <laughs> this person may be into like some weird domination type sex or something like that i don't know but i feel like this karmic was just letting this person run amok in the bedroom bringing third party people other people in the bedroom i'm talking about doing all kind of stuff to them um allowing or making this karmic watch them do stuff to other people like it was just all kind of stuff going down in this bedroom y'all i'm not lying um oh i can't even say that what they just said i cannot say that all right <sighs> all right um this person is also like right now they're fighting their demons and i feel like a part of their the demons that they've been struggling with is their sex demons all right so this person is kind of like in a space of re-examining themselves re-examining their actions collective um you know this person could have just recently faced some type of life altering event you know whatever they have went through is extremely extremely painful all right extremely painful um I, I i pick up like an energy of embarrassment this person is too embarrassed to ask you for help like they need help i don't exactly like know per se what happened but i do know that they need help um i just heard growing pains hurt the most so spirit is putting this person in a place of solitude where they're having to reflect it was like 414 on the timer as i'm recording this voice audio but this person need needs time and space to reflect this person had a really hard time being alone like your person don't like being by themselves therefore they run into relationships quickly they build relationships quickly they're always being entertained by someone or entertaining someone um you guys you know they feel like you always knew what was best for them i heard i heard a masculine say she knew what was best for me or he knew what was best for me right you knew what was best for this person but they didn't want to listen to you guys this is somebody who was just kind of you know they were a little hard-headed this person has been fighting 
against their changes. Like spirit has been kind of like nudging your person to change their ancestors who have been like really working with them, trying to get them to change. But they, this is a very, very stubborn, hard headed energy collective. All right. But I see that, that, that they're not giving up on this masculine here. They're getting a little tired of them. No lie. Somebody's spirit team is getting tired of them because they're so hard headed. All right, um, February the 7th through March the 19th could be significant to some some of you guys. Um, I'm also picking up a reconciliation, like a meetup, like something significant happening. Yeah, it's going to be a meetup. Some, a lot of you guys are going to physically, physically get to see this person around February the 7th through March the 19th. This could be like their birthday or something like that. They're going to want to see you for their birthday. They're going to, y'all are going to, you're going to spend time with this person on their birthday. If their birthday is, um, uh, within these months. Also, if, if, even if their birthday is not during this time, it's something significant about you and this person seeing each other. You know, it's going to be still in the winter, the winter months, the winter season It's going to be cold. This person going to want to cuddle. All right, <laughs> this person's gonna want your warmth. They're gonna want to be around you. I'm here. They're gonna want to snuggle up under you, like for physical and emotional support. All right. So, this is someone who has decided that they're going to return back to you no matter what. They're gonna get something right no matter what. All right. I'm devoted to returning to you. I'm starting to feel help. help hopeful about the future because i see you being a big part of it yeah so this person is really focusing in on you guys collective they're really focusing in on you guys and this person has spiritually energetically devoted themselves right to coming back towards you guys this person is realizing that not only do you guys have unfinished business, but you are this person's destiny. All right. You were destined to meet this person. This is why this connection is so like unbreakable. Like y'all have a impenetrable bond. Like it's crazy. Even with this person choosing somebody else, I just feel like they, the, uh, whoever they chose do not have this person's heart. They have them physically, but you will always have this person's heart. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna go so far as to say, even if God forbid something happened and one of you guys transitioned and went, you know, to the other side, you guys will always have each other's heart. It's still like, it's no blocking that. It's no stopping that. This is this is really giving like this undying, eternal love. That's what is given. All right. <sighs> I feel like, you know, you really help this person tap into parts of themselves that they were um, always fearful of, always afraid of connecting, right? This is somebody who probably like ran from deep feelings, deep conversation, deep talks, anything dealing with emotions. This person was just kind of like, they felt like that just wasn't their thing, all right? Spirit is also communicating with your person a lot. All right. They are getting the signs. They're getting the synchronicities about you and them and what you guys are supposed to do and who you are to them and what steps they need to take to make something right with you, how they need to speak some type of truth to you. Uh, there's also a heavy energy around time running out. Right. And this person. You know, spirit literally telling them like, hey, you're going to let time run out. Don't let time run out. You know, yeah, the person this your person felt a undeniable connection with you guys from the very moment that they saw you guys. The very moment that they laid eyes on you, it was without a doubt you guys had a connection and without you guys even speaking words. All right. <clears throat> I feel like intuitively. Oh, wow. The song that's playing is um, only want to make things right before you walk out my life. Never meant to cause you no pain. I just want to go back to being the thing. Well, I only want to make things right. That's Monica. Um, uh, before you walk out of my life. 
All right. So maybe like that's the channel song. <laughs> this person said they want to make things right. They never meant to cause you no pain. They just want to go back. They want to go back to things being the same. Right. Yeah. Um, this person spent a lot of time just kind of checking in on you guys. I'm kind of getting like this is a part of this person's daily routine. Checking in on you. What do you got going on? What are you doing? It's like, it's like this is how they feel connected to you. Just by like watching you online. You know, they just have to feel connected to you guys in some way. All right. So also, y'all, no lie. This person moved too fast with another energy. Yeah. They're they're hoping that you will compromise with them when you find out like what the whole truth is. They moved too fast with another energy, y'all. They did that. All right. They moved too fast. Um, they actually I'm getting they started building in another situation with somebody else too fast. Yeah, a connection that they thought was like they thought that this was their person. No lie. They did, but it was full of deception. It was full of trickery. 11-11 on a timer. Yeah, it was It was just dishonor. Like, whoever this karmic is, she brought, he or she brought dishonor to your person. All right? So, tell me more about uh, what do they want to tell the collective? Why do they want the collective to compromise? Why do they feel like... They're hoping that you guys will compromise. Compromise about what, Holy Spirit? Yeah, the moon card, the death card. So, um, secrets about a ending and manipulation. Um, the high priest is in reverse. This is someone who could be emotionally manipulative. They could have gotten man emotion. They sh they could have gotten emotionally manipulated. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, your person feel like they got manipulated by high priestess in reverse energy here. Someone who could have used spiritual manipulation to cause some type of ending for you guys. Could be like a water sign or someone used like moon magic or something like that. I'm not going to, I'm I'm, just, I'm not going to hold y'all. I do feel like moon magic was definitely involved. All right. Yeah. To make this masculine think that. And and I'm, to make this masculine think that this was their person here, there was also a lot of sexual magic that was used as well. So it's a lot of sex magic, a lot of moon magic was used. Someone could have been working with like the cycles of the moon or something like that, you know, mm, to cause some type of ending or, you know, to cause a ending in this connection between you and them to make this person choose you. So I'm getting like whoever the third party is, they they fed into your person's sexual desires, okay? Which is sex magic. It is. If you know that you're dealing with somebody who like a lot of kinky, freaky shit, and you're doing this with the intention of holding on to them, that's sex magic. It is. All right? But I see this person, they're over something. They're over this. They're over this connection. The sex isn't good enough, like... Sex isn't going to keep this person, this masculine with this karmic feminine, which could be like a Sagittarius or a fire sign. But sex isn't good enough. It's just not. I see your person still taking a gamble here and wrapping up a cycle. They're going to close it out anyway. Yeah, because it's like I see them going towards they want to be free. They want to go towards who fulfill them and what fulfills them. You know, they want to make the choice that they should have made in the first place here. How does this karmic feel about this? Wow. Yeah, the karmic want to balance this. The karmic wants to balance the situation out. Yeah, she feels he or she feels bet betrayed, backstabbed. They feel like it's a it's a it's a betrayal. Ten of Swords energy here. Yeah, they feel like your person turning their back on them is like the ultimate betrayal, and they want to balance things out. They want to balance things out with this masculine here. How does this masculine feel about this karmic right now? Wow. They feel like they've learned all the lessons that they need to learn collective. They feel like they've, they've gained some type of knowledge. It's making them wiser. 
they this okay you may be a fire sign this masculine is loyal to a fire sign all right or someone with heavy fire in their chart all right um specifically a leo energy here and they're going to communicate they're going to communicate their loyalty to a leo or someone with heavy fire in their chart they could be actually dealing with two fire signs the karmic could be a fire sign and you could be a fire sign or y'all could just have like fire heavy in y'all chart right they're going to communicate the passion that they feel like they're turning their whole back on this situation here with this karmic they're turning their whole back on this i feel like this is like an older gentleman an older masculine energy they may have like a, a, a german shepherd like a some type of wolf dog for some of you guys something significant about a dog this person could stay in like a place where it snows a lot or it's cold all the time I have something dealing with the mountains or something like that or this person could this masculine could just like the outdoors this is an outdoorsy outdoorsman type of energy for some of you guys all right but they have been withholding communication from someone who they feel like has their heart someone who they feel like is innocent lamb energy here so you're pure they've been withholding communication from a pure energy someone who has a pure heart and i feel like that's you because there's a lamb here yeah you're you represent this lamb energy here they've been holding back communication because they've been over here stuck in a four ones in reverse energy here they've been stuck in possibly with the false twin <clears throat> Something that's not worth celebrating. Something that's actually very much over. Yep, it's over. Five of Swords energy here. This is like this person feeling defeated. Not seeing this coming. So whatever happened with this karmic here. They didn't see this coming, y'all. They didn't see this coming. Alright, this, this, this hit this masculine all just out the blue. This hit them out the blue. Yeah. Holding this truth back. Um, clarify this ace of swords in reverse. What is being held back? What truth is being held back from my from my collective? Yep. Six of wands. That they want to celebrate with you. That they feel like you're a star. They want to give you your flowers. You you are the star. The show is about you. You're the prize. Your person wants you to know that you're the prize. All right. You like their fire. You like their world. Ace of wands energy here. You you won. You, you won and they're no longer going to keep you waiting anymore. They know that you've been waiting on them to return to you. And here they come. They just had to get... They had to get a dose of their own medicine with this karmic. Yeah, ten of wands. Yeah, they had to go through something with this karmic energy here. There was a heavy, heavy betrayal. It's like your, your person may have like a lot of baggage now due to a lot of manipulation on their behalf. I feel like, you know, your person could have been like the magician in reverse energy. They could have been a master dark magician at one point. And they met somebody who was just like them. So, therefore, they did. They got manipulated collective. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm hearing this karmic gave them an overdose of their own medicine. Yes, they did. So, when this person come back to you guys, you know, they may, they're going to be in a page energy because they're, they're, this person is trying to regroup. So this is why it seemed like you may not get the offer that you're looking for initially from this person here. But they are going to take some steps to let their guards down, let you in their world and kind of tell you what's going on with them. Clarify the magician in reverse. Yep, the five of pentacles. I'm telling you, grief, depression, heartache, pain, loss. All right, this, this, your person being manipulative got them locked out of your life. Yeah, got them locked out of your life collective. Yeah, y'all turned your back on someone because, on your person because they were actually holding on to their shadow side. They were not growing. Your person was not growing at one point. They stayed, they stayed stuck in this low vibrational shadow energy. And then they went towards someone and committed to someone who was just as low vibrational, just as toxic, just as unhealed as them. This person, 
it sucks being it sucks being locked out of your life collective but this person being manipulative they did this to themselves this person know that they're walking on thin ice with you guys but they're definitely going to be expressing the love the adoration that they feel for you the fact that they do feel something very powerful very magnetic like that it's like this person is going to acknowledge the spiritual connection for once it's like you've been waiting on them to acknowledge the fact that you guys have something sacred like a spiritual connection something that is otherworldly they're going to do this and all it took was for you to do is walk away <laughs> eight of cups you have to eight of cups this person's ass to get them to walk away i mean i'm sorry oh oh wow thank you because listen i wasn't even I was trying to say something else. You had to eight of cups them to get them to walk away from another situation. You had to walk away from them to get them to walk away. Yeah, the world card in the upright with the ten of pentacles in reverse. To get them to close out a, a cycle with someone who there was no stability with this person. There was no security. Yeah, it was built on a faulty foundation here. Yeah, your person chose this this other energy because they were immature and the karmic allowed them to be childish and immature. But ultimately, it, ended, it landed them in a state of confusion, anxiety, stress. Yeah, I feel like, you know, it took everything in you guys to walk away from this person. But you had to choose yourself first, collective. You had to choose yourself first and you did just that. You chose yourself first. You know, and you choosing yourself first is like it's like nudging your person to choose themselves first. And a part of them choosing themselves is choosing you because you and them are like one in the same, you know. So <sighs> this person is going to come in and compromise with you guys after some time of going within, like looking at the ugly truth in the mirror. Right. This person had to do some mirror work. This person, they're going to have a lot of insecurities that they're still working through collective. But I feel like spirit is going to ground this person and like really help them to like work past their embarrassment about everything. This is why they can't face you because they're super, super embarrassed collective. Yeah. Wow. Help is in reverse. I'm telling you, your person needs help, <laughs> but they don't want to reach out to help from you guys because they're so embarrassed. I just can't, I, I just can't, I'm feeling helpless, I'm feeling hopeless and helpless, there's nothing that I can do, life is what it is and we just have to accept our circumstances, yeah, this person feels helpless, but they don't want to ask you for help, they feel like, they do know that this is their fault though, like they know this, this person also know, know that you're tired of waiting on them, like you're discontent. You know, that you're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on elevation. You're focusing on healing right now. They know this, you know. And I'm getting an energy of them not wanting to disturb your peace. Because it's kind of like, it's giving you are at more peace without them. That's how they feel. They feel like you're at more peace. Your life is more peaceful without them. That's that's how they feel, collective. Let me pull from this deck. And I'm going to uh, wrap this up. All right, a few more messages for the whole, for the divine collective. Yeah, the breaking point is here. A decision and missing you. Yep, <laughs> and lessons. This person is about to reach some type of breaking point, y'all, or they have reached some type of breaking point silently. Yeah, this person has made up their mind. I'm reaching my breaking point. I feel pushed to make a decision. Yeah, because you walked away. You choosing yourself and loving yourself is forcing them to to make a decision. I've never missed anyone in my life as much as I miss you. They ain't never missed nobody the way that they miss you. And this is a very, very, very important lesson for this person here. You taught this person a very valuable lesson, y'all. All right. I'm learning my divine lessons and will soon soon be by your side. Yep. You loving them and leaving them is helping helping to awaken them and ascend them that's how powerful you are your presence and your absence heals and transform people yeah this person spent a lot of time being in this energy of indecision but listen this person is saying enough is enough they got to have you back this is this person coming in on bending knee collective yeah because they don't want 
they don't want you dealing with anybody else. I get intimidated and nervous knowing you get so much attention. You may get a lot of attention. They don't like that. They say enough is enough. I'm going to apologize to you. I'm going to let the other person go. Yeah, let them go. They're about to let this party and lifestyle go. They're about to let this karmic energy go. They're about to listen to their intuition here. They don't get along with this karmic energy anyway. They don't get along with this Jezebel. It was just sex. It was just dark sex, control, codependency. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. It was never love, all right? Yeah, your person is going to ask you for one last chance, collective. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comment section, section down below if it resonated with you guys. I love you guys to life. Peace.